So I'm a little late to the sequins um, pillows kind of thing, mm -hmm. but um, I stumbled on this on ProWorldIncorporated.com. They have tons of sublimation heat transfer stuff, so I wanted to try it out. So I made this pillow for my granddaughters. I don't think they're going to see the humor in it as I did, but so printed it with my sublimation printer and paper and, you know, put all the sequins facing the right direction. And then I ended up not using this tape because I was nervous when I pulled the tape off, it was going to mess up. But anyway, so you have to carefully place this, you know, in the right position and you're going to heat press it for 400 degrees at, uh, for 40, for 60 seconds on this. But Pro World Incorporated, I'm new to their products, but I was so, I mean, impressed because the second I ordered a bunch of supplies, I ordered some other materials and blanks. They sent me specific directions on how to use the blanks that I ordered. I was really impressed. So instantly I knew what I needed to do. So anyways, when I pressed it, um, I could play with this stuff all day long. Um, and this pillow, although it's kind of funny, it's for my granddaughters. I don't think they're going to see the humor in this, but I ended up going back and adding some stuff around the sides. The one thing is, is my printer prints eight and a half by 11. This pillow is, I'm going to have to guess like probably 15 by 15. Um, so the other pillows that I've seen that are kind of edge to edge, I think they do look a little bit better than this, um, eight and a half by 11 piece, but it, it worked out. So I might need to order some larger paper if I want to do more of these pillows, and I kind of do. So uh, that would be my recommendation, just kind of think through your design and see if it makes sense if it's 8.5 by 11 or if you need to order bigger paper than uh, what I had on hand. But I thought this project was a lot of fun. I was really happy with it.